Hey everyone, Bronte here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's clean with me. We are going to be cleaning the whole house. I am going to get the bathrooms, the bedrooms, the loft, the kitchen, the living room, and we are going to tackle all of the messes all over the house for the ultimate cleaning motivation. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Give this a thumbs up if you are in need of some cleaning motivation, and let's just hop right into it. If this is your first time stopping by, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around for tons of cleaning motivation every single week. We will be starting this video off in my son's room. We just had my mom in town visiting and she was sleeping in my son's room. So we are gonna strip the sheets off of this bed and put the mattress back in my daughter's room where it belongs. It's actually her twin bed mattress, but she doesn't sleep in her bed. She sleeps in her crib still. So it's perfect mattress for when guests come. So we're gonna clean up my son's room. He has been building forts with his sister underneath the bed and they've just been cramming all the toys underneath there. So we're gonna get those all cleaned up today so that we can have this room nice and back in order. first time over here on my channel I would like to take a minute to introduce myself my name is Bronte I am a stay-at-home mom of two we live in Las Vegas and you can find tons of cleaning motivation on my channel every single week as well as some organizational videos and I will be having some DIY videos coming up here soon as well I am in the process of painting our kitchen cabinets so be on the lookout for that video and when we make our way downstairs now you know why we have no cabinet doors on our kitchen cabinets, I am in the process of getting those all painted. Pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. We got these balls for the kids for Christmas. They have a little tent and tunnel that go with them. And oh my goodness, I find them all over the place all the time, even after I think I've picked them up. Does anybody else have plastic play balls like this that are just all over the place all of the time? I swear, I can find them in probably every single nook and cranny of this house. I keep finding them behind the couch when we haven't even played with them for weeks. It's just the craziest thing. I find them all over the place, including in the bathroom. My kids play with them in the bathtub. They're just everywhere. They're like the gift that keeps on giving. They're all over the place. Like I said, I find them all over the place. I'm gonna start cleaning up the kids' bathroom and the first thing that I'm going to do is pick up all of the toys in the bathtub because the bathtub 
desperately needs to be cleaned and I am going to be using Clorox Cleaner Plus Bleach Spray. This stuff works great. This is my go-to cleaner for the bathtubs and it just gets everything super nice and clean. So I highly recommend this product unless you are very sensitive to bleach products then definitely wouldn't recommend. But I am going to be using a scrub brush and I'm going to get this super nice and clean. The kids have been walking around without shoes on in our garage and our garage is like the dirtiest place ever. So there's always black footprints on the bottom of the bathtub. So we're gonna get those all scrubbed off and get everything nice and clean. For my counters and the toilet today, I'm going to be using this Kroger brand multi-surface antibacterial cleaner. It's in a lemon scent and we're just going to spray that on the toilet and leave that there and let it sit for the recommended 10 minutes so it can get it all nice and clean. And I'm also going to be using this on the countertops in the bathrooms as well as downstairs. So while I'm letting that sit, I'm just going to clean up the vanity and clean up the mirrors and I'm also going to wipe down the baseboards before moving back onto the toilet and getting that all nice and cleaned up. to tackle the mess in my bedroom I have a ton of laundry on the floor per usual I am so notorious for doing that I'll wash laundry and then I'll kind of forget about it all day and then throw it in the dryer at the last minute and then by the time I remember it's in the dryer it's bedtime so it all gets thrown in the laundry basket and then dumped on the floor in my room or dumped on my bed and then pushed off onto the floor I'm the worst about laundry is anybody else like that I'm like one of those people We'll throw the laundry in the dryer and then re-dry it like 50 times before actually taking it out. And it drives my husband nuts because he is one of those people who does the laundry right away and puts it away as soon as it is done. Maybe it's just because I have the kids that I'm dealing with all of the time that I don't get the laundry done as soon as I would like to. Or I'm just lying to myself right now and I'm actually just a super lazy person when it comes to laundry. Anybody else? recent videos that I will have linked down below in the description box I con married my entire dresser now my pajama drawer has gotten a little bit of a mess since I've done that but for the most part I've kept it up pretty well and I can find stuff so much easier in my drawers 
So I really, really, really loved what the KonMari method did for my organization of my dresser drawers. I am able to fit so much more than I was before. I have an open drawer, whereas before everything was just jam-packed in there. So if you haven't done the KonMari method and you've been interested in it, Highly recommend it. You can find stuff on Pinterest explaining exactly how to do it. I'm sure there are tons of YouTube videos and I show some in that video that I was just talking about as well. So be sure to check that out if you have been interested in the Kamari method. Now we are going to move on to making the bed because once the bed is made, I feel so much more productive. Whether I'm making it first thing in the morning or I'm doing it a little bit later in the afternoon, I just love having my bed made. Solve it, solve it, yeah. Luckily, my bathroom isn't too much of a disaster today. There is some stuff out, but it's mostly just my cleaning products that I'm going to be using. But the countertops desperately need to be cleaned, so I'm just going to be using that lemon-scented Kroger brand spray that I used in the kids' bathroom. It has been working really great. I don't know if you guys have Kroger around you, but it is a little bit cheaper, and it was easier to find than, say, Lysol or 409 or any of those typical name brand cleaners. And I have found that it works great. It smells great. It smells like a cleaner. It doesn't smell like some fresh scented like perfume or something, but it does it the job and it gets it done. So we're going to be using that on the countertops today. And then I'm just going to be using the up and up version of a Windex spray on my mirrors. It works great and it is probably almost a dollar cheaper than the actual Windex spray, which I'm all about. And I'm using microfiber cloths. Those are linked down in my Amazon storefront. I keep getting asked what I'm using to wipe everything down. So that is where you can find those. They were really fairly priced for about 12 of them, I think. And I just love how well they work. And if you're happy, then let's be happy. Then let's be happy. Yeah, me and you, what we do. It stays between me and you. Today was the first time in a very long time that I was able to get around to cleaning all of the bathrooms in one day. It was quite the feat for me because usually I don't get around to doing everything that I want to do, but today I was able to tackle every single room and get all of the bathrooms. I seriously deserve like a trophy or a medal or a cookie or something for getting it all done because I am like the slowest cleaner ever and I always get distracted but today I got it all done so I'm just going to be using all of the same products in this bathroom that I used in the upstairs bathrooms as well you cannot forget how my mistakes haunt us but do they really don't us your tongue can be sharp cut me close to the heart we can master the art And the thing is that these scars Are scary but they are Just small scars We should never be afraid of them You and I know when we are Too far apart Everything just falls apart So I just close my eyes Now 
let's tackle all the rest of the mess that is in the kitchen and in the living room area. We're gonna start in the kitchen first though. I have a ton of dishes that need to be put away from the dishwasher, dishes that need to be loaded into the dishwasher and we're gonna hand wash whatever is left behind. And then we're gonna move on to cleaning up the sink, cleaning up the counters, cleaning up the dining table and doing all the things. Now typically I would use um, more of a cleaner as it's geared towards cleaning the sink but today we are just going to be using some dish soap on my dish rag and cleaning the sink up that way because I need to wash this grate that's in my sink as well. If you don't have one of these grates and you have a stainless steel sink I highly recommend getting one. I love it. It has saved my sink from getting super scratched up. Now utensils do still fall through the cracks of it, but it has eliminated way more scratches than it would have without it. So I highly recommend if you have a stainless steel sink, get you one of these grates. I will try to find one on Amazon and link it below. My sink came with it and it has been such a lifesaver. So I need to wash the grate often and then I like to clean up my sink really often because my sink is probably just one of my favorite places in my house right now. This is like one of my favorite things that we have done. It just opened up the space so much more and it has made washing dishes so much more easy and so much more enjoyable.
couch I am also going to take a lint roller and use those on all of the pillows because my little pooch is shedding so so much because it's starting to get hot here in Vegas usually he does not shed a ton but right now he is shedding like crazy so we're gonna get all of the black dog hair off of the lighter colored pillows and then I'm also going to get all of the lint off of the darker colored pillows having a lint roller on hand or any sort of hair removing tool like the chom chom works super great because I know that when you wash the pillowcases, all of the lint and all of the dog hair doesn't quite come off. So this is a great way to get anything that is left behind after washing them. And also today I am super excited to share that I am going to be testing out a new vacuum. So thank you Elec Homes for gifting me this vacuum and we are gonna test it out first impression right here, right now. It is a cordless vacuum and I have never used one of those before. The first thing that I noticed that I really loved about this vacuum was the light on the front of it so that you can see all of the lint and dirt on the floor really, really easily. It is a very bright light. It was a lot lighter than my Shark vacuum. However, the things that I did not like about it was the suction power. It wasn't as strong as my corded Shark vacuum, but then again, I am obsessed with my Shark vacuum. I am very biased to my Shark vacuum. This Elec Homes vacuum was great for the hard floors. It didn't work as great as the Shark on the carpet, but it did get the job done. So if you are looking for something that's lightweight, compact, and cord free, I highly recommend this Elec Homes vacuum and I will have a coupon code down below for you guys if you are interested in it. it this is in no way sponsored. I was just gifted this product and asked if I could give my honest opinion on it and if I liked it to share it with you guys. So we're gonna try this upstairs as well. And like I said, it did work. It just didn't have as high as suction power as my corded shark vacuum. So I'm gonna go back in with my shark vacuum and vacuum the areas upstairs that I tried to vacuum with this vacuum. And I was able to pull up a lot more with my shark vacuum. So I just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on it. I do love my shark vacuum for the carpeted areas. And I did really like the Elect Homes vacuum for downstairs for a quick cleanup. I hope that you have found this video super motivating and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thank you so, so much for watching my videos and for being here and spending some time out of your day with me. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe and stay well. Thank you. Back,